One change that may surprise a few of you if you haven't heard of it already is Microsoft has restricted some IE mode access in Edge after several zero days had been targeting the Internet Explorer mode Edge browser uh, functionality in there. So there's a, a Chakra JavaScript engine was the most recently targeted by uh, threat actors. The Edge team had just announced that they received intelligence indicating that threat actors were abusing the IE mode within Edge to gain access to unsuspecting user devices. What they've done here is they've actually made some experience changes in how to use that Edge mode to make it more difficult for threat actors to try to do so. So for those of you who aren't using Edge mode, this may have been something that they've been trying to find ways to manipulate a user into triggering going into edge mode. That was definitely one that came up in the past few months here. We've seen a few targeted attacks like that, trying to influence a user to let them go into IE mode where they can do additional things. So this is making it a lot harder to get into that mode. In this case, if you go down a little bit further, you see the difference in experience now where they've locked it down to basically say, E mode, uh, IE mode will now have to navigate to settings, default browser, allow and define the pages specifically that you're going to allow to load in IE mode. So it's requiring a lot of additional steps to get to that mode, but it should mitigate a lot of this, the ability for threat actors to try to target this for an unsuspecting user where if they click on it, they could get into IE mode very easily. This is going to make it significantly lar harder for them to do that. Now, it doesn't mean that they still can't manipulate a user to do this, but if they do that, that user is going to have to go through a number of steps to get to this mode and enable the attacker to you know, be able to do that. So just wanna make sure though, that people are aware that this behavioral change was implemented and it's because of the number of attacks that have been targeting that IE mode in the Edge browser. So if you are using IE mode, make sure that your organization is aware of these changes and that you're going through and getting the sites that specifically need to do that properly configured for the users that need that. And probably educating users that anything asking you to do that otherwise shouldn't, you know, you should only ever have to do that if IT or, or your organization specifically tells you to do so. Right. This next article 